Welcome. The Google team wants to inform you there is more ways to be innovative and ways to analyze data with the new smart chip functionality in Google Sheets. With the new smart chip data extraction, we'll enrich your sheets with information from people, file, and event chips. Let's go ahead and dive deeper about this amazing update. As you can see, I'm inside Google Sheets, and we're first going to focus on the people chip. In column A, you can see I have a sequence of people chips inside each cell, A2 through A4. I am now going to use the new feature that's available to us, the data extraction. You can always use the famous right click by right clicking on the chip and then selecting data extraction. As always, Google gives us multiple ways to do the same function. I can select that chip again and go to data and select data extraction. I'm gonna go ahead and do so. When you do that, you will get a option over here on the right to select what data to extract. In this demonstration, I'm gonna go ahead and select all data. So I'm gonna select email, name, location, phone, and title. And then I'm gonna go to select extract. Now watch what happens. You will then see it will populate formulas inside each cell and bring in the data that's embedded inside that chip. I'm gonna go ahead and accept and verify. And then you can see if I double click inside B2, you will see it is a formula, A2 period email. So if I hover over it, you'll see that it's pulling the information from John's chip. I could then repeat that for Chad and Jolene, but as we know, it is a formula, so I can actually highlight the area that I want and then fill down and it will populate it for Chad, Jolene, and et cetera. So that is how you use it for the people chips. Let's move on to the file chip. So I'm gonna select the next sheet and demonstrate the file. So I've already inserted several different file chips in column A. We're going to repeat the same process. This time I'm gonna select the first one and I'm going to select data extraction by right clicking. And then again, same thing, I'll be able to select the data to extract. And this time I'm going to customize and not select all the data. So in this case, I'm going to choose file name, creation time, last modified, last modified time, and owner, and select extract. And then again, verify the data, I click accept. And I can repeat that process by filling down like I did for the people chip, and then it will pull the data of the remaining files. Now what is really cool about this one, I'm going to use the file chip quite often because for this example, you can see these are my training documents. Wouldn't it be nice to see when the last time it was modified and so much more. So I'm gonna show you how you refresh and manage your chips once you have extracted the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this particular document and I'm going to make some changes. I'm going to just remove some data just to show you that things are being changed on this document. And so I've made some changes. The time right now is 316 on 726. I'm mentioning that for a reason. So I've made some changes and the persona I am today is trainer 13. So obviously some changes have been made to this training document. Now I'm gonna go back to the data extraction sheet that I've been working on and things have been changed on the document. But my reference of uh, last modified in column E has not changed. So let's go ahead and make sure I know how to refresh the data. You can always do it multiple ways. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the right click way. You can select right click and again, select data extraction, and then you can select refresh and manage. You can actually refresh and manage individual documents or chips inside the sheet, or you can always select refresh all. So again, maybe you just wanna refresh the sheet that I just did. I could go ahead and select that training document and select this one, or in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and select refresh all my chips that are inside this sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh all, then I'm going to go ahead and click the X, and then you will see that the last modified date of the document that I just edited has changed to 726. So again, a great way to be up to date on your documents. And again, it also will reflect all your chips if you make changes as well. I'm gonna go ahead and select the event tab and discuss the event chip. So I have a calendar event here of Google Drive training. You also notice when I hover over, I have the option to data extract from here as well. I'll go ahead and do it this way and select data extractions. Again, I get to select the data that I want to extract and hit extract. And again, verify and etc. So in this example, 
you will see then it has the URL, the description of the calendar, the start date, end date, organizer, attendings, and location. So with that, I strongly encourage you to check out all additional resources posted below to learn more about this update. Thank you.